In recent years, we have lost a lot of our American institutions. For example, you don't see too many organ grinders anymore. Whatever happened to those guys who used to come around our neighborhoods asking to sharpen our knives and scissors? And noise pollution complaints drove off the good humor man. So it's nice to know that all is not lost, as you'll see in this next report by Jeff Smith. You know how it is on a soft spring day when the boss is out of town. Some people see no point in coming in at all, since the obvious temptation is to come in late anyway. thoughts occur. Whatever happened to the Fuller Brush, man? Let's see. Why don't you try 622-4171? Hi, this is Jeff Smith, PM Northwest. Whatever happened to the Fuller Brush, man? Well, two things happened to the Fuller Brush, man. Number one, he's not a man, always, and uh, we've gone from a full-time to a part-time business. For those of you who have never heard of the Fuller Brush Man, for over a half century, that company has been an American institution selling brushes door to door. Gary Tate is manager for Western Washington. He started 22 years ago. I was a mechanic uh, working on lift trucks and lumber carriers, and uh, I wanted something different. And I, I like me meeting people. That's really my, my best thing. And uh, so I quit. A good decision, too. The first year with Fuller, he doubled his income. Before most of us were born, Albert Fuller perfected this neat little brush and launched an empire. Contrary to prevailing opinion, he did not urge his sales folk to stick a foot in the door. In fact, uh, that's the name of, of the man that started it, the Ed Fuller. That's the name of his book, is A Foot in the Door. But he teaches you knock on the door and you take one step back. Uh, he felt that by stepping back, you drew the people to you rather than push yourself onto the people. Mm. And so you'd knock at the door, and when the door opened, you'd take a step back, and you'd offer them your free gift. Although Fuller is always coming out with new stuff, the old familiars are still there. There it is. This is what, huh? Same mop? Same mop. Same mop. See, there's a picture of it. Same mop. And that was that 55 catalog. Of course, it was, it was around long before that. It's been around about 60 years. Price has gone from $3.50 to $11.49. Mops and brushes haven't changed much, but we have, so Fuller has had to adapt. 50% of all homes, both the husband and wife, work. So it's harder to find people at home when you're going down the street just knocking on the door. So, so in western Washington, 100 full-time salesmen have been replaced by 300 part-time salespeople, 200 of them women, like Lorna Hendrickson. I went out the first day and somebody actually bought something. I didn't think they would. <laughs> so I really have been doing it ever since. And how long is that? 14 years. How long do you plan to continue this, as long as it's I fun? could do it forever. I really could. I even feel that I could support my family, should I have to. You know, if I uh, wanted to work that many hours, I'm fortunate that I don't have to work, so this is something I'm doing just because I want to. In a world filled with artificial products, you can still get some natural things from Fuller. Still have a good boar bristle brush and still a good, a good, uh, good price. You can still get that on sale for ten dollars and uh, do <laughs> That's a good price. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. That's right? a good price. That's a good price, right? Because you, you can spend twenty, twenty-five, thirty dollars for a good boar bristle brush. No, I can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Well, some people can. <laughs> but we have nylon brushes for uh, four and five dollars. But you don't sell, sell a whole heck of a lot of brushes anymore. No, um, half of our business is chemicals, cleaners, degreasers, laundry soap. I got swept up with a lightweight carpet cleaner. It is cute, but it's more than cute. It's very functional. Functional. Right. It has. But it's pretty old-fashioned stuff, though, isn't it? Well, not really. Not, not really. The old sweepers. The thing Here I thought it was a TV was interview, and Gary's in there selling, sweepers. all about how this thing hangs flat. You could sweep the floor while lying on it. If you were too drunk to stand up. <laughs> you could, right? You could lay down on the floor and do it. But it really picks the stuff up. Excellent cleaner. That's why we sold so many of them. Just don't, you, don't you miss selling? I miss it, yes. I really do. To get the real story of Fuller Brush, you have to go out in the field, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're in the field with Larry Wolf. 
18-year veteran, Fuller Brush Man. Larry is apparently unaffected by the weather. I was freezing, but he was unfailingly cheerful, perhaps because he's good at what he does every day. There must be days when you don't sell anything. No. Really? Never. Never? Never. This house is a fresh challenge to Larry, although it's in his territory. And what Mrs. Barbie yells down from the window answers why we did this story. I didn't know there were for a little brush man anymore. Fuller never went away. They cut back on some of the door-to-door -door work and went to the telephone, but they're alive, well, and selling like crazy. This is the one right there that says regularly $5.50 on sale for $3.99. And delivery would be two weeks if you'd like to order there. I need some oven cleaner. Oven cleaner. This is the oven cleaner, and the unique thing about it, no smell. So this little pint will make you a whole gallon of window cleaner. Oh, and so instead of $5, a regular price is on sale for just $2.99. And paneling, you got some paneling that can be used in other wood. Bye-bye. She a new customer? Yes. Never sold her before? No. A good salesperson can do about $20,000 a year, but the big payoff, one suspects, is personal freedom. No, I've just enjoyed the freedom of being my own boss. Simple and as that? That's about it. It's been a nice family business. A lot of uh, families in America are falling apart nowadays, and it's given us something to do as a family unit. In what way? Well, my wife will uh, help me pack the orders, things like that. And Similar sentiments were echoed by Lorna Henriksen. Uh, getting out of the house each day, getting uh, out of my jeans and my house slippers, and getting my hair combed, and getting out and meeting people. I like people, and I, it's a feeling of accomplishment to have something to do each day. I'm tired of cleaning house, I guess. What does a person do when they want to make contact with a fuller brush person? Open the phone book. People are always asking us where our stories come from. Well, that's one way. Yeah.